brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all in the precious name of our living Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is such a joy to experience the power of our Lord's touch and His mercy. Shall we pray? Our gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank Thee, Lord, for this wonderful time that You've given us. We are thanking Thee for the greatest mercies that You're showering upon us. Thank You, Lord, for the new life we are living in Jesus Christ by being saved from all our follies, by being given the grace to be forgiven for all our sins, the new life which we are able to experience through the wonderful death and the resurrection of your beloved Son, our living Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, a life which has to totally change. May at that be right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us look into book of Luke chapter 19 from verse 1. Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. There was a man named Zacchaeus which was the chief among the publicans and he was rich. He sought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was little of stature. We find Luke writing about the travel of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord was traveling and passing through Jericho. The Lord knows everything. He knows even about this man about whom we have just read. He's Zacchaeus. We find he's in a very good job. He was a tax collector and he was a chief among the publicans. And also he was a very rich man. He had to work for the government. He had to do the right for the people. He had to take the right taxes. But not to cheat anyone. Not to bribe anyone. Not to lead a life which is not right in God's sight. So such a life is always mentioned by God-fearing people as a man who was called as a sinner. Easy to be named as a sinner. But always a sinner has a time for repenting. To repent. For repentance. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ allows even to those people who are hard-hearted in heart. Opportunities are being given by the Lord. Here Zacchaeus would have been, I, I always think about Zacchaeus. He would have been feeling right down deep there in his heart. No peace, restlessness, because he was leading a life which was not happy in God's sight. God is not happy about him. He could not confess anything publicly. We find an opportunity came in his life where he heard about Jesus Christ through many people, heard about the wonders and the miracles and the great things what Jesus was doing. So he had a desire to see Jesus, how he looks like. We do not know if it was his own decision in running over there and wanted to see how Jesus was. If he wanted to have this great desire, if he had a great desire like this, he should have very well invited a master to his home. But he dared not do that. He was afraid what would happen to his job and what would happen. These are the situations how even many people live that life till now. Hide Jesus behind your way of life for this world. Your ones bring Jesus into the limelight and live him. Be a glory and honor for his name. We see about this man, about whom we find that he wanted to see how Jesus was because of the crowd and also added more, his stature. He was a little man, by right? He was a little man. He was short because he was a little of stature. He was a short man. He couldn't, so he wanted to have a very good look at Jesus without the knowledge of anybody watching him. But he was watching Jesus. So he knew the travel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the way he was going to come through. And he climbed up a sycamore tree. That's what Luke writes here in verse 4. He ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see Jesus, for he was to pass that way. Our Lord knows everything. He paused his very journey for the sake of this Zacchaeus. Because Lord knew the prayer in the heart of Zacchaeus. He knew that Zacchaeus, I believe that he was praying for an opportunity just to see the master, this great man. That is enough 
and my sins would be washed away. That is, he knows about me. So just let me have a glance at this holy man. At least that grace I would receive. Lord will always make your faith to come into the limelight. Because he wants to let you know that you're right. When Jesus came to the place, right there Jesus stood under the sycamore tree. He looked up and saw Zacchaeus. Everyone who went along with Jesus also would have looked up and seen. And they would have said, oh, this is Lou, this is Zacchaeus. The tax collector, the chief of the publicans. Just many would have made, would have made fun about it because they would have very well found a way to see Jesus. But no need of all this uh, secret ways of seeing Jesus like this in secret. Hiding himself in the sycamore tree. Jesus is the Lord who looks up and the Lord called out to him. Many times you would think that no one knows but the Lord knows everything what is done in secret. He calls you out into his marvelous light for you to have the opportunity to receive Jesus into your heart. Your sins to be forgiven. And the new life in Jesus to begin. When he saw Jesus calling out to him. He was shocked. Because Jesus called him by his name. Zacchaeus. Make haste that is come down quickly. No more delay Zacchaeus. I paused my journey for your sake. Because I want you. No don't delay any further. Come fast. You already delayed a lot. Are you delaying the salvation? Yeah, the Lord told him, make haste and come down, Zacchaeus, for today I must abide at our house. Lord is inviting Zacchaeus to his own house and he, and he wants this man to be a witness for his glory. Zacchaeus also came down very fast. And you know what, the, what Luke writes here? He says, he received him joyfully. True transformation. Here Zacchaeus forgot about the people, his family, his job, his riches, his name, nothing whatsoever. He only knew one thing. It is the right time that I wanted to see the master, but the very Lord himself has entered into my house. What a blessing. What a blessing. Praise God. And everyone began to murmur. They said, look, Jesus is gone to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. The world will speak thousands of words. But a sinner's heart, which pleads for forgiveness and wants the total forgiveness from God by repenting, only God knows about it, not man. My brothers and sisters, immediately they say about this, but Jesus, he speaks and says, Intent. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. What a mighty God he is. Hezekiah says, All the people there were watching, even the crowd and everyone, even those who murmured. Zechariah, it was not a hypocrisy. He truly did this. He followed the law of God which was given through Moses. He says, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I've taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Praise God. He did, indeed did what he wanted that day. He knew what was his wrong. He confessed it. Jesus forgave him. And that is why one of the beautiful words the Lord has spoken here. This day is salvation come to this house. Are you ready for that salvation right now? Are you ready to receive this great invitation from a master that he has to enter into your life? Keep the doors of your heart open. Do not delay. The Lord will barge into your life if it is will that you have to change into a new person, fighting all the weaknesses which are trying to, trying to creep into your life, trying to play with your life. The Lord knows you. Praise God for that. The Son of Man is come to seek and save that which was lost. That sinner is you and me. Praise God for the wonderful love and forgiveness our Lord Jesus Christ has granted unto us. 
by washing us with his precious blood, giving us a new life in him, whose death and resurrection we be made new. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for accepting us as we are in your presence. Thank you for making our life to be meaningful and perfect, Lord. We give you all the glory. Thank you for your beloved ones. Thank you for a new life of Zacchaeus. In Jesus' name, these lives which are going to live. Thank you, Father. By being washed by the blood of Jesus and having peace in the hearts. Bless them mightily. Multiply them. Increase them in your grace and favor. And in all that they desire to do for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Peace of Christ be with each and every family. My brother, Brother Joe Madhu and myself, we are praying for you and God bless you. Praise the Lord.